what's going on guys so in today's video we are comparing the samsung galaxy s21 to the samsung galaxy s22 now i just recently got the samsung galaxy s21 so i haven't tested a whole lot with it yet but i will say it is a very good device but so is the samsung galaxy s22 so let's go ahead and start with the design they're both very similar got pretty much a very similar screen that both can go to 120 hertz they both have triple cameras set up on the back however although the sensor sizes are very similar they're not the exact same but they are similar the main camera on the s22 is upgraded to 50 megapixel i think over the 12 that was on the s21 I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference, so I wouldn't really go for the S22 for camera over the S21. I think they're both very good. Um, looking at the sides here, the S22 did have the buttons move slightly down lower than on the S21, but they're pretty much in the general same area, and you can see we have the millimeter wave antenna on the S22 and then of course both have an AMOLED screen I'll try to get it so it's not flickering too much it's just the camera um so on the S21 we have a 6.2 inch OLED screen AMOLED screen with a 421 ppi and it is at 2400 by 1080 on the S22, if I can get not flicker so much, sorry about that. We have a swipe up. We have a um, 6.1 inch OLED screen with 425 pixels per inch and 2340 by 1080. So the S22 is technically a slight, very slight downgrade from the S21. Now, the S21 does have a plastic back, or as Samsung calls it, glastic, but it's just plastic, and you can tell the difference versus on the S22, even though they both have, like, that kind of textury same finish, and, of course, just a couple microphones on the top, just some antennas over here on the left side. On the bottom, you have your SIM card slot with no micro SD your speaker and USB-C with some antennas and of course your microphone so let's go ahead unlock both here all right so let me whoops whoops I keep I keep opening the weather app sorry about that but um now it's going to try to update the weather. Oh well. But you can see both displays are very nice. You know, they're both 120 hertz. It's not going to be super slow or anything, you know, scrolling. I guess you can't. I guess I only got three pages of apps there. So that's not going to be a slowdown in any sense. Sorry, I had to pick up the devices because I can't really do this um, with them laying down so both devices overall perform very well and you can see that um, it is a little bit smaller than the S21 you can see there it is a little bit smaller on width and height so that's something to also keep in mind. Let me. Okay. Sorry. I should have planned for this video a little bit better. I don't even know why I turned on Wi Fi. Turn that off. So, let's go ahead and just show you kind of, you know, the fluidity of it. And I guess if you want to, we can do a speed test. Although we will have to go on Wi-Fi for that because 
It's not fair to speed test against two different networks. And I'm not even connected to Wi-Fi on my S21. So let me put in the password for that. Okay. I haven't even hooked my S21 up to Wi-Fi. Because um, my S21 is using my spec one of my Spectrum lines. And the S22 is using Google Fi, so that's not a fair comparison. So, let's go ahead and do a Wi-Fi speed test. Just to show you performance. And the S21 is a Verizon unlocked model. Um, it is not a fully factory unlocked model like my S22. You can see that actually, surprisingly, now I mean, granted, we're running two speed tests at the same time. So, of course, it's going to take a hit on performance. Um... I would say this is pretty similar you know the difference in speeds is probably when each speed test started and which phone gets the more priority because they are connected to the same Wi-Fi network so that doesn't really matter um, now one thing I would do want to talk about if you're going for cellular the s21 here does support um, everything pretty much but millimeter wave so if you're living in the U.S., it's got C-band N77 for AT&T and Verizon. It's got N41, low-band stuff, so it's pretty good overall. And there's not, you know, like uh, 5G UW models for Verizon. They're pretty much just, you know, because like when, let me, let me grab it out of my pocket here. When the S20 came out, which I will do a video on this later, when the S20 came out, it only did low band 5G and T-Mobile N41 and N71. So, you know, it didn't have no N77 support, but it also didn't have no millimeter wave. And there was a 5G UW model that did come with millimeter wave, but this is not that model. Um, the S21, they didn't really do that as far as I know. Don't quote me on it, but I don't think they did. With the S22, you can see it does have millimeter wave support. And of course, it has C band and um, T Mobile N41. So you should be good on all carriers if you use S22, except for a new carrier like Dish, because they have bands that aren't really supported by any phone yet, except for like the iPhone 14 family. So. That is something to keep in mind. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this comparison of the S21 and the S22. And I will be doing some more videos. Like, I'll be comparing like the S20 to the S21, the S20 to the S22, and maybe even my S10 5G. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.